Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of feed for Google Shopping app by Simprosis. In this video we are going to see, exclude products based on product vendor, multiple independent rules, and creation of independent rule not contradicting each other. We have another video with a detailed overview on rules as follows. Exclusion based on product price. Exclusion based on inventory quantity. Exclusion based on product title. Exclusion of product variant based on variant title. We recommend you going through them as well for a better understanding of automated rules applied on different attributes. We will be attaching the links of them in the description below. Before moving to the video, please subscribe to our channel to get the tips and tricks about digital marketing. And press bell icon to get notify instantly once we upload any new video. Let's start with excluding products based on brand name. We will be applying this rule by modifying the existing rule instead of removing the current rule entirely and adding a new rule for brand exclusion from the scratch. You will be able to access this feature from our automated rules for feed page of our app. Please hover over the settings menu and click on the automated rules for feed option from the drop down menu. Click on the gray box containing the rule in the rule column to open the edit mode. Now here, we will select the vendor which is submitted as brand attribute instead of variant title from the first dropdown, followed by this. We are selecting equals any of as an operator from the second dropdown. And finally we will select generic and look good shirts brands from the third dropdown list. We will select all the destinations except XML feed from the set to exclude destinations and will proceed with saving this change as draft. We can now see that the rule for vendor based product exclusion is appearing as draft rule under the variant title rule. So we just need to apply this rule to replace the variant title with the vendor or brand based rule. Once the rule is applied, the product feed is reprocessed. And as we can see the products from these two brands are excluded. Let's check one of the products from both of the chosen brands. First product is the Android LED TV which belongs to the generic brand. And second one is the printed casual shirt in charcoal color which belongs to the Look Good Shirts brand. As we can see that, both of them are successfully excluded from the feed. Exclude products based on multiple independent rules. You can also add multiple automated rules that act on conditions independently to exclude products and variants from the feed. To do this, select OR and enter a second condition, this way the rule functions either on the first or second condition. If either of the conditions gets satisfied, the operation will be applied. For example, along with a brand-based exclusion rule, we can also create a new rule for product type using OR. Now we will be selecting the product type from the first dropdown. Starts with as an operator from the second dropdown and add women's as value for the condition. Let's add one more independent condition for excluding products or variants based on the product tag. Here we are going to select product tag as data source equals as an operator and are adding clothing accessories as value. Once these rules are applied, app will process the feed to exclude all the products fulfilling these criteria for either of the conditions from the selected destinations. As we can see here, HD LED TV from the generic brand, women's sleeveless party dress from women's dresses type, high heels from women's shoes type, and top handle box clutch bag which is tagged with clothing accessories are already showing excluded status after the rule is applied. Creation of independent rules not contradicting each other. Last but not the least, please make sure that you are not creating multiple independent automated rules that contradict each other, which may result in excluding the entire product feed from all the destinations and marketing platforms. Let's see an example of multiple rules which can contradict each other. Here we will try to exclude products which do not belong to either product vendor or brand. 
Here we will add two independent conditions, to achieve this, we will select the operator or. Hence we do not need third condition. So we will be first deleting it using the red delete button. Then we will just modify the first vendor based rule, by changing the operator to does not equal. And selecting the generic brand from the dropdown. For second condition, we will replace the entire product type based condition with vendor based condition. So we will select vendor or brand for the first drop down menu. Then we will choose does not equal as an operator for this condition, just the same as the first condition. And finally, select gold mine rings as value. Once both the conditions are added using or, we will select all the destinations from the set to excluded destinations menu and click on OK to save the modifications. Now if you see this automated rule, it says if product does not belong to generic brand or goldmine rings brand, exclude them from all the destinations. By implementing this automated rules it will exclude entire feed from all the marketing platforms and destinations. Because product from generic brand does not belong to goldmine brand and products from goldmine brand does not belong to generic brand, rest of all the products from any other brands are obvious to be excluded from the feed. As we see here, all the products are excluded from all the destinations and channels on the Manage Products page within our app once it is processed feed after applying that automated rules. We strongly recommend that, if you need to use multiple values for the same data source, then use operator which ends with any of as shown here, and select multiple values. Hope this helps. Please subscribe to our channel, if you are interested to learn more about, Google AdWords, and, other kind of digital marketing. See you again in another video.